Hi, I'm Everett Withers, head coach of the University of North Carolina Tar Heels. Today we're going to uh, talk on the video playbook uh, for TarHeelBlue.com about JMU's defense. Uh, they're multitasking defense, uh, do a lot of different things. They base out of a 4-3, uh, but they have a lot of different moving parts to their defense, and we'll talk about that today. So, uh, again, obviously we're looking at, at – uh, what they do defensively and, and the 4-3 scheme. But as you watch the plays here, you'll see the linemen really are, are attacking up front, uh, trying to set a, a, a different line of scrimmage up front. Linebackers are flowing, and then obviously adding the safeties to the run game. Most people that play this scheme, uh, usually the, the offensive football team will try to crack those safeties and get involved in, in stopping them in the run support. So as you watch the plays, you can see you know, you can see wide receivers going to block the safeties, okay, because those guys that are eighth and ninth guys in the box, uh, up front, really trying to attack up front and, and knock people back and let the linebackers flow. The next facet of, of JMU's defense is their fire zones, okay? Very good fire zone team. Uh, Coach Matthews, uh, from his time being at Georgia uh, and being a linebacker coach, you can tell some of this stuff comes from uh, his history. But what we call, uh, again, uh, a fire zone that brings two, really four off the outside here, two off the outside and then slitting the line up front with the, with the uh, Mike linebacker and the Sam linebacker, or it could be a nickel and playing three under three deep behind it. What they're trying to do is cancel out gaps, okay, with their defensive front and then bring a linebacker or DB underneath the tight end and then a linebacker off the edge. And then behind that, basically playing three underneath, okay, three deep with dropping, obviously dropping an end off on the backside. But as you see this, you can tell they're very aggressive. Uh, if your protection is not good up front, then obviously they'll they'll find the seam. And, uh, and, and again, this is what you'll see what happens to the quarterback if you don't protect it or identify what's happening to you up front. Again, uh, a, a very fast defense, plays hard. These guys do a good job of getting after the quarterback in the passing game. And again, they'll use a lot of these fire zones. And as you see, the Sam and the Mike, okay, again, and then now we'll stunt the front, okay, stunt the front, and then drop the end and bring Sam and Mike off the edge and then play three underneath, dropping a safety down three deep behind it. Again, creating pressure, you know, without always being an all-out blitz and in, in putting your secondary in a bind. Now, the last facet of what uh, what we feel like is a critical point in the uh, JMU defense is their all-out blitz. And we call this basically a saw blitz. A saw blitz is, is man coverage in the back end. It's what we call seven-man pickup in the back end where safeties have number two, uh, to their side or, or number two, number three to their side. Corners always have the wide out. And now they're bringing the wheel and the Sam off of the edge and then stunting the line inside. You can do it with running games inside, but it's an all out blitz. The Mike has the remaining back. If the back's in protection, the Mike will add. So again, this is an all out blitz concept to stop the run and force your offense to throw the ball fast. Again, in the run game, again, you can see up front, they've got games up front. They've tagged games with this, all right? So now they get a lineman looping inside in an A-gap, okay? But again, the pressure off the edge, you know, usually constitutes single blocks up front, and then it allows, uh, allows the, the perimeter guys and the stunt front to uh, make plays. Fans, make sure you are a part of all the action this year in Keenan Stadium on game days. You don't want to miss out on the opportunity to watch the Heels play an exciting seven-game home schedule. Great tickets are still available by logging on to TarHeelBlue.com.